everybody, Mr. Traveler here. No Mr. Traveler today. We had uh, a lot of company over for the holidays. And right now she's in the other room. She's doing her hair and getting extra beautiful because she's already beautiful. Say hi, honey. Hey, guys. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to continue to do our video. We missed Tuesday because we were so busy and, and all that good stuff from the holidays. So we wanted to get back to our Hot Topics Thursday. And so uh, I wanted to start off first by showing you guys a really nifty app that we found out about when we went on the last on the Allure of the Seas trip we came in and out of Port Everglades and one of the things that they have there is the mobile passport now to get in and off to get on and off off the ship, well really it's to get off the ship and to help expedite customs uh, currently it's only available at Port, of, Port Everglades and you upload your passport information you upload all the stuff that you would fill out on the customs form uh, ahead of time on the app and it helps you go through customs and it went very quickly so I'll show you the footage that I did from the ship uh, on my handy dandy phone so let's watch that now okay guys I wanted to bring you something new that at least is new to me um, we got a paper in our stateroom that says they have a mobile uh, app to bring us through customs so I got it here it says mobile passport app on the uh, for the iPhone and so I downloaded it and I guess you're supposed to be able to scan your passport and put your information from the stuff that you bought on the ship. And uh, I'm going to open it up here. Let's see. Yeah, it says get started. Yeah, so I guess you just add your passport and some different things in here. Uh, I'm going to try it out this time, put all my information in, and let you guys know how it goes. All right, so yeah, it, it worked really well. The app was really good, really useful. We went in, they had a dedicated line for it. We went up, scanned the phone, boom, they asked us a couple of questions and we were out of there much quicker than the uh, regular passport way. And look what I got, guys. Finally, <laughs> finally got rid of the old cracked phone. Got the new iPhone 7, I'm trying to 7 Plus this time. Yeah, it's a little big for my taste, but I'm getting kind of used to it. I'm waiting on my. I ordered a uh, phone case for it, a bumper case, and a hip case. So I hopefully don't do the same thing I did to this one. So anyway, guys, let's jump to it. I got a couple of quick questions today. Okay, so our first question came from Carrie Stouter. I'm hoping I'm uh, pronouncing that right. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we were kind of going back and forth because she was asking me about some dietary things, specifically gluten-free diets. And I really didn't know the answer to the question. And, and some of you may have may know that if you ask me a question I don't know the answer to, I'm not afraid to tell you I don't know the answer. Uh, and certain things that had to deal with your health and safety like that, if I'm not positive the answer, I don't want to go about getting the answer. So I prefer that... Uh, perhaps you contact the cruise line or whatever or your doctor directly and ask them these type of questions so I'm not sure about the gluten-free diet but let's read the comments she said, uh, thanks appreciate your quick response uh, reply excuse me maybe something you can include every so often in some of your videos for some of your viewers that have food allergies or other food issues thanks again you and miss you and the missus have a happy holiday Thank okay, <laughs> she says thank you. So anyway, uh, yeah, she was asking about the gluten free, and uh, yeah, I you know I I don't know specifically about the gluten free, but they ask you these things before you get on the ship when you do your online check in. Many of the cruise lines uh, have that on the check in. Are you allergic to certain types of food? And so we've been in restaurants where we there have been people that that were uh, like the teppanyaki in Norwegian. Uh, some people are allergic to to seafood. So they'll cook the food separately from the seafood so that that person doesn't get sick. Uh, they'll also show you the options on the boat or tell you what the options are on the boat. And even on the menu, I sometimes uh, know that it'll, it'll have disclaimers on there that this may contain nuts and things like that. Um, like I have a, a, a nut allergy, so I have to be careful on certain things that I eat. So uh, thank you for the question. And so that's really the answer is, you know, yes, they will work around your allergies and stuff like that. But if you have a specific question, please contact the cruise line directly and or and or your travel agent directly and and find out the answer 
for sure. Thank you for the great question. Okay, so here's another good question by Kathy Burrow. Burrow. I was. She's had a question before, and I always get Kathy B. Okay, I'm. I butcher names. I apologize. Anyway, so here's another question. If you purchase an excursion before the cruise and the ship decides not to go to a certain island for whatever reason, will you get reimbursed for your excursion or is it only covered with travel insurance? Excellent question. Absolutely. If the itinerary changes or you have an issue where the boat can't dock or, the, or there's uh, inclement weather and the ship has to miss the port, yes, they will refund your sh uh, shore excursion. No worries there. Um, I'm not sure if you do it independently, but if you do it with the ship or if you have a, you know, a reputable, uh, shore excursion company like the one that, uh, that we go through with Mr. Traveler, uh, you know, those are all guarantees right there. The, the excursions are guaranteed if something happens, uh, they will refund your money back. So no worries there. That's an excellent question. So anyway, guys, uh, I know this was a real quick Hot Topics Thursday, but we wanted to get something out for you guys. We'll be back next Tuesday. We got some... Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> that was a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll be back next Tuesday with... Uh, we're back on our Tip Tuesdays. we got a lot of good stuff coming up. And uh, before we leave, I wanted to show you a quick picture of one of our uh, great subscribers, Mr. Randy. And not only is he a subscriber, he's also a customer. And I'd like to thank him for uh, trusting Mr. Traveler with your precious memories. Anyway, uh, check him out on his last cruise. Oh, yeah, he met Chris Tucker. Hey, Randy. <laughs> him and his girlfriend met Chris Tucker on uh, one of the carnival ships. And so those are kind of fun, some of the uh, carnival uh, ships like that, when they have uh, special celebrities or special bands on a boat uh, to do different things. They either have comedians or artists and things like that. So that was a really fun cruise to be on for sure, I know. And uh, thank you and thank all of you for watching, subscribing. Uh, if we can uh, help you book some travel, www.mr-traveler.com. Uh, we'd love to help you out. And anyway, guys, life short. What'd you say? Life short, have fun. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>